Most often, bloodhounds are portrayed as couch potatoes. While it is true that they are gentle and loving, there's a lot more to know about these amazing dogs, especially when it comes to nose work. So for today's video, we'll talk about 10 things only bloodhound dog owners understand. Known for their massive layers of wrinkles that make them look sleepy and lazy, bloodhounds are actually friendly, energetic, and affectionate family dogs who are sure to make your life and your home a whole lot better. Hello there and welcome to Animal Insider. Before we begin today's video, make sure to subscribe to our channel first for your daily dose of dog-related contents. As mentioned earlier, for today we'll talk about bloodhounds. What is it like to have them in your home? Let's all find out. 1. Bloodhounds are gentle dogs. Known to be calm and gentle, bloodhounds are not suitable to be guard dogs simply because they're not born to be scary or growly. Instead, they're one of those big dogs who are kind, affectionate, and social, which means that they will welcome everyone in your home. 2. Bloodhounds need constant companionship. If you spend most of your time at home, then this breed is perfect for you. This is because bloodhounds, despite looking uninterested and sleepy all the time, are actually social animals who thrive in their family's presence. Without companions, these dogs will get lonely and bored, which can lead to depression and development of separation anxiety. If you'll be away even for a short time, make sure that your bloodhound has someone who can keep them company, such as another family member or even other pets. In addition, these dogs are actually full of energy and will need about 60 minutes of exercise every day. After a long day outside, these dogs will appreciate an afternoon snooze. While they won't make the best jogging or running partner, bloodhounds will enjoy long, adventurous walks where they can use their impressive sense of smell to explore their surroundings. 3. Bloodhounds need a large space as big dogs who love to wander and use their noses, bloodhounds are definitely not for apartment dwellers. These dogs need a large home where they can comfortably move and lay down their bodies. In addition, you will also need to have a huge yard where they can explore different scents. Just ensure that your yard is securely fenced as these dogs love to follow trails, even if it means going across the road to find the scent that they caught. Fortunately, bloodhounds are quiet and peaceful inside the house. 4. Bloodhounds' appearance actually has a significant purpose. One thing you may have noticed about these dogs are their wrinkly face and floppy ears. However, there's actually an important reason why their appearance, which we all adore, is like that. Bloodhounds' loose folds of skin below their throat, called a dewlap, actually helps bloodhounds in their trailing efforts. Along with their floppy ears, these help them to transmit the scent from the ground up to their noses. 5. Bloodhounds are quite a handful to train. Born to trail scents, it is natural for bloodhounds to be focused with their work for hours. Because of this, they're often used as police dogs, and they also excel in search and rescue jobs. However, because of their determination to follow an interesting scent, bloodhounds also tend to be tough, stubborn, and independent. In addition to this, bloodhound owners know how sensitive these dogs are, which means that they will not respond well to firm training. Instead, they do well when positive reinforcement techniques are used during training, such as food rewards, praises, and plenty of time where they can freely follow scents. Because of their stubbornness, bloodhounds are not recommended for first-time and novice dog owners. Instead, they need a patient, gentle, consistent and experienced owner who can establish themselves as the leader of the pack. Puppy obedience classes will also help this breed grow into more obedient dogs. Aside from training, early socialization is also important for these dogs. As soon as you take them home, introduce them to your environment, as well as to different people, animals, sounds and sights so that they grow into well-rounded dogs. And we're already halfway through this video. What do you think about bloodhounds so far? You think you can handle them? Let us know in the comments section below later on because for now, we'll continue getting to know more about these wonderful dogs. So without further ado, let's continue. 6. Bloodhounds need regular grooming. 
Bloodhounds have short, straight coats that are dense and shiny. Considered as average shedders, owners will only need to brush these dogs once a week to keep their coats clean and sleek. They do shed more heavily during shedding season, so you might need to brush them more often during these times. When it comes to bathing, these dogs need to be brushed once every two months or so. They're clean dogs, but they develop doggy odor. Another crucial part when it comes to grooming this breed is you need to clean their folds every day, using a damp, clean cloth to remove dirt, sweat, and bacteria that are stuck in between their skin. If you're not able to do this, then there's a high chance that they'll develop infections, sore spots, and stinky odor. 7. Bloodhounds are droolers Aside from regular grooming, one of the things you need to consider when deciding to have this dog is that they drool a lot. If you don't fancy a dog that drools, then you might need to consider having another dog breed because bloodhounds are definitely not for you. However, if you don't mind cleaning some drools on the floor, make sure to always have a stock of wet wipes. 8. Bloodhounds can trail a 300-hour-old scent. I always mention how incredibly amazing these dogs' sense of smell are, but how good are they actually? Bloodhounds have the best sense of smell among all dog breeds. It is estimated that they have about 250 to 300 million scent receptors. Therefore, once these dogs have caught a scent, they can easily follow it despite all other scents that they may have encountered along the way. 9. Bloodhounds are of average intelligence, but they will shower you with love. Bloodhounds may not be the most intelligent dogs out there, but that doesn't mean that they're not capable of learning commands. While they're not able to perform any tricks, these dogs are energetic enough to enjoy long-distance walks. And like other big dogs, highly impactive activities should be avoided, especially when they're still puppies. Fortunately, since they are social dogs, bloodhounds can easily get along well with other dogs in the park. With their calm and friendly temperament, You'll also see these dogs being friendly with other animals. In addition, bloodhounds are also very fond of children. They are patient and careful towards them. However, because of their huge size, they may accidentally knock them over while playing. For this reason, it is advisable to supervise any interaction between your bloodhound and children. At home, these dogs are laid back, so you won't have an issue in keeping them inside with younger children. 10. Bloodhounds are healthy dogs, but they may be prone to certain health conditions. On average, bloodhounds can live for 10 to 12 years. However, like all other dog breeds, they may suffer from health conditions that their owner needs to watch out for. These include hip and elbow dysplasia, eye conditions including ectropion and entropion, cardiac problems such as cardiomyopathy, and skinfold dermatitis. To ensure that your dog lives a healthy and happy life, Make sure that they get the right amount of diet and exercise, regular veterinary checkups about once or twice a year, and of course provide them with plenty of love, time, and attention. In a nutshell, bloodhounds need a patient and consistent owner, a large home and a yard, and a family that can provide them with plenty of time, love, and affection. While bloodhounds are not for everyone, they are definitely one of the most wonderful dogs you could ever have provided that they are well taken care of. And that wraps up our video for today. After watching this video, do you think you can handle bloodhounds? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed today's content and find it helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell button so you won't miss any of our future videos. Once again, this is Animal Insider. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.